Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and today I thought we'd do some scans at different bands and different times. Um, it's kind of fun to do that. I know a lot of you like that also, to see what's on, depending here in Montreal. And uh, we just started 17 hours universal time, and uh, we're going to check out what's on this uh, on the bands uh, using um, EIBI space, of course, as my main uh, check for frequencies. So uh, we're going to actually do a 16 meter band scan, but a little larger than 16 meter. We're going to start at 17,000 kilohertz. So the bottom part usually has some marine uh, signals here. So we'll see what's in there. So the first part, I'll actually tune in upper sideband. And we'll switch back to AM for the uh, international broadcast part. So let's check it out. This sounds like STANAG, which is a NATO communication system, digital system. This is an interesting signal, kind of a white noise signal. Kind of. I'd look at a span and take it at 50 kilohertz. It's kind of weird. One of those weird signals that I was talking about. Kind of a white noise thing. So starting at 17500, I'll switch to AM mode for the international broadcast stations. Palestinian authorities blamed an Israeli airstrike, while Israel said it was a rocket from the militant group Islamic Jihad that misfired. That group denied responsibility. The attack happened hours before President Joe Biden departed for Tel Aviv, to meet Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to show U.S. commitment to Israel's security and push for humanitarian aid for Gazans following days of shuttle diplomacy by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. It is critical that aid begin flowing into Gaza as soon as possible. Biden was scheduled to continue to Amman, Jordan, but after the Gaza hospital attack, that part of the trip was canceled. He will not be meeting leaders of neighboring countries, King Abdullah of Jordan and President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi of Egypt. So uh, this is Voice of America from Greenville uh, in the North uh, Carolina or South Carolina, Greenville, um, in the United States. Good signal as usual. Riyad Mansour. This is probably Adventist World Radio from the Austrian Relay.
Not sure about this one, there's no listing about it. Voice of America relayed via the uh, Vatican State transmitters. Seventeen seven nine zero comes from uh, WRMI and. Um, I believe, let me check it this time. I believe it is a signal for Radio Pan Am. Yeah, Pan American Broadcasting is what it could be. 17790 uh, from uh, WRMI. This is Radio France International, direct from France. And the last part here, well, I'll often do upper sideband, it's aeronautical frequencies. From 17900 to 18,000 kilohertz, uh, there are some uh, air traffic control stations that you might hear. That was a scan at 17 hours universal time here in Montreal of uh, the 16 meter band, or a little more, um, 17,000 to 18,000 kilohertz on the Yesu FTDX10 with NFED antenna. The reason I'm using the Yesu, you might think, well, why don't you use a portable, is because with the NFED antenna, uh, my uh, reception on the high frequencies here is much better than the MLA30. Uh, I would probably be using a portable radio if I was on lower frequencies uh, with the MLA30 instead. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the scan. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.